Hi, welcome into our sixth class in our seven part series exploring the chakra system. My name is Nicole Hudson. I'm the founder of Wander Freely Yoga and Coaching, a certified Soluna life coach, and I've been working with Maine General for a year and a half. As we get towards the end of our series, I'd like to take a moment to explore where we've been and how we've gotten to where we are today. So we started with our first chakra, exploring the safety and foundation that that brings. We then moved up to the second chakra, exploring the fluidity and creativity that we can tap into. We then moved into the third chakra, exploring confidence, willpower, and strength. We then moved up to the fourth chakra, exploring our sense of compassion and love for self and others. Then moved into the fifth chakra to understand why it's important to use our voice and how we can express ourselves into the world. So now as we move into our sixth chakra, our third eye point or Ashna chakra, we start to look a little bit more into intuition, kind of an intuitive sense within us and more of a universal sense around us. So let's go ahead and look into this chakra. What are the, some of the characteristics and how can we use it in our life? So the sixth chakra, the location is your third eye point. So that's gonna be right between the eyebrows here on the forehead. Central issues involved are intuition and imagination. The goals would be a psychic perception, accurate interpretation, imagination and seeing. The rights associated with this chakra are to see. Developmental stage would be around the stage of adolescence. And identity would be archetypal identity or this idea of self-reflection. The demon associated with it would be illusion. So if you think of seeing, illusion would be the demon. Excessive characteristics include headaches, nightmares, hallucinations, delusions, and difficulties concentrating. Whereas the deficient characteristics may include poor memory, poor vision, cannot see patterns. So if something's playing out in your life over and over and over again, and, and other people might see the patterns, but you may not, this might be a deficient characteristic within the sixth chakra and also denial. The element associated with this is light. And so as we get into the higher chakras, you may have noticed that the lower ones were a little bit heavier. They were earth qualities, water, fire, a very grounded sense, like very tangible. As we get up into the upper chakras, there's gonna be this more, um, I mean, well, light quality, <laughs> right? So we get into air, lightness. Um, so there's a little bit more of an ethereal sense when we move into the upper chakras. The lower ones are more gross. So I mean like gross anatomy, physicality. When we get into the upper ones, it's going to be more these universal ideas and concepts. The color associated with this chakra is indigo. And the seed sound is om, O-M, om. And so... Today, I'd like to explore a pranayama practice or a breath practice that specifically starts to bring some clarity. It brings some focus to the third eye point, And it's a sense of awakening both the intuitive and a little bit more balanced awareness within oneself. So let's go ahead and get started. So a few things you might want for this practice. Um, if you want a block or two, I'll show you what we'll do with those in a moment, but you can have those nearby. I'm also sitting up on a cushion. You can sit on a chair. You can sit on a pillow, a towel, a blanket. So anything that's comfortable for you. And counter indicators of these, any sinus problems that are going on, you might want to skip out on this and wait until you feel better. Um, but overall, this is a rather gentle practice. It can be both warming and cooling. So it's a very balancing practice. Um, and we'll see why in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to do Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. So with your left hand, 
can take your left hand and place that down onto your leg. And with your right hand, two options. I'll show you both options. And then for today's practice, um, I'm going to offer that we bring the hands right to the third eye point. So there's a physical connection there. But when you do this on your own, feel free to take your first finger and middle finger and you bring those down to touch kind of the, the bottom pad of your palm. I find this to be a little bit challenging in the physicality of my hand. Some people really love it. So you do whatever feels best for you. So just know that this is one option. First finger and middle finger bend down and touch the palm of your hand. You'll then take your right thumb and ring finger and the thumb will go to the right side nostril. The ring finger will go to the left side nostril. So that's one option. Today's option, we're gonna take the first finger and middle finger and place that right on your third eye point. So that place right be between your eyebrows, take your right thumb to your right nostril, right ring finger to your left nostril, and then set them there lightly, all right? So that's kind of where the placement will go. Now, before we get started, it can be tiring on your arm to hold your arm up for this long. So for some of you, it might be appropriate to take a block on your right leg and do it from here. Maybe you take two blocks and you kind of set up this little stage for your arm, right? We don't want to get tired. So you can do it from this space too. So just know that you can set yourself up in a space that's comfortable for you. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get started. So take whatever variation. Again, today I'll guide first and middle finger to your third eye point right thumb to right nostril, left ring finger to left nostril. Sit up nice and tall, let your sits bones rest down. Option to close your eyes or keep a soft gaze forward. With your thumb and ring finger lightly resting on your nostrils, take a breath in through both nostrils. Use your ring finger to just close your left nostril and exhale everything out the right. Inhale, right. Close, right. Exhale, left. Inhale through your left nostril. Use your finger to close your left nostril. Release your thumb. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close, left. Exhale, right. Continue this pattern on your own. You might hold your breath at the top. You might take it a little slower than I am. Wherever you are, continue to keep your breath steady. And continue to soften through your jaw and your shoulders as you bring your breath in and out through your nose. As you create a clear channel for your vision. And a focus point to see forward.
Take one more cycle wherever you are, allowing your final exhalation to be out of your left nostril. And when you've completed your final exhale, let your arm rest back down to your leg. Inhale through both sides simultaneously. And exhale through both sides. And clearing out anything that may be blocking your vision creating space for your intuition to open more freely. You might bring your mind to your third eye point and see the color indigo there. Clear and balanced intuition and sight. Allow your hands to meet at your heart chakra, connecting left and right sides of your body. Take a deep inhale all the way from the base of your spine. Move up through each chakra as you stop your breath at your third eye point. Your seat of vision and then slowly exhale everything back down to the earth. If your eyes are closed, opt to, option to open your eyes. Take a moment to take in your surroundings with your open eyes. Thank you very much for exploring the sixth chakra, Ajna chakra, or our third eye point for keeping clear vision, balanced intuition as we move forward, continuing to build on the strength beneath us as we expand into the opportunity that is above us. Namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this pranayama practice. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I look forward to our next class where we will complete, be completing the chakra system and working with our final and seventh chakra. Thank you.